The next one is Crypto DeFi 2.0. I don't really like trading that much on crypto. I feel like that's something you used to do three years ago. Nowadays, what tends to happen in the crypto space is looking at the future of what platforms can do. Things like the Solana, Avalanche Network, Binance Network, all of these things have been coming up as a competitor to the Ethereum Network. There's so many projects happening. Metaverse is becoming a buzzword. The people nowadays are looking at how to take the next step of crypto, not just trading coins, but actually building projects and delivering value for the future whether it's play to earn games whether it's just investment funds you can do so much more with a decentralized finance network and so what i've been looking at in the last year was DeFi 2.0 this is where you can buy a coin and stake it and by staking it you actually earn interest. And it can vary from kind of stable projects in this space that offer around about 100 to 200% a year up to more risky projects, but with big visions that offer 80 to 100,000%. DeFi 2.0 is in its infancy and I feel it's the next big thing for this year. If you have money left over, I would say don't risk more than 10% of your savings. But if you have that money left over and you are interested in the next step of crypto, DeFi 2.0 should definitely pique your interest. You don't need a lot of money, even though you do need enough to diversify because some of these projects can go bankrupt, which is why it's high risk and you do need a little bit more money than when you trade with stable coins or any of the projects that I've mentioned before. And that brings us to the most expensive thing. But of course, this one will stand the test of time. Real estate vacation rentals. Now, in the past, I've been looking into real estate rentals and I really honestly don't like it. You can go on YouTube and probably find a ton of gurus and people telling you how great the investment is. I really don't like it. The headache that you get associated with dealing with all these minor things, if you're not a construction person, I work in like software and I make videos. I really don't wanna be fixing bathrooms. Real estate rentals is pretty much that. And so I really didn't like that part. However, real estate vacation rentals seems to me to be the best of both worlds. You get a house and in high season, you tend to rent it out at pretty high prices that will compete or even outperform the prices that you get with just a normal rental. And yet for the low seasons, you still have a house available to you. So it's a stable worth. It's a stable asset that goes up in value as long as real estate goes up in value. And so vacation rentals, because obviously I have photography skills and video skills and I know how to make websites and have an entire team that helps me with setting all of these things up, creating real estate vacation rentals is a great opportunity for me. However, if you're in the same position as me, you have a little bit of capital, you have these design skills, you know how to place real estate in a great situation where you get a ton of people wanting to visit it, then the only thing you need to do is find a great place that has a proven track record and already renters that give it great feedback and just take it over you either store your money in a bank account or you can store it in there if you have enough of these vacation rentals you can even hire a company to manage it for you all right you've made it till the end so as promised the surprise tip of today if you go on youtube and search audible sponsorships you might find some youtubers who are giving away free trials I'm not sponsored, so I don't really have those offers for you. However, hopefully that tip helps. And if you find a good YouTuber, just share the referral link in the comments below for other people who watch this video. Pass it forward. But that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments below if you have any other topics you'd like us to cover. And I'll see you in the next one.